So he's back to throw here with seven seconds, works his way out of the pocket, and wisely goes down with big defenders coming in. You could tell he was winding up for a big throw and then said. Helensky, pocket collapses. Helensky trying to get away, shucks it up. And the ruling from Terry Lydon is he was down in the grasp of Leighton Vanderen. Take a sack back there and retreat like that. You've got to get rid of the football. They've lost, what, about 15, 20 yards on that? At least? 20. 20 yards. I mean, that takes them out of being career high. Here comes the pressure. Ball is out and recovered by Washington State. Leighton Vander Esch with nearly a game-altering sack. You have to protect the quarterback. They misjudged this. They did not anticipate, anticipate the blitz. They didn't have anyone to help. The back slides out, and all of a sudden, you got a big shot. That is the fifth sack of a Washington State quarterback tonight. And when you do that, it opens up the inside run game. There is the inside run game, and nothing doing in there for Benoit. I don't think Benoit got back to the line of scrimmage in Boise. Behind them, this defensive line, they're undersized. It's going to be a battle for them when they go up against a bigger offensive line with that middle linebacker, Vanderish. They always have a chance. That's a really big target. A lot of speedy, shifty guys at receiver. Certainly guys can run, including that guy in the backfield. And Tony Brooks James didn't hold on to it. The ball's loose. Let's see if they're going to call it a catch to say he never held on to it. They allowed it to be a catch, and it could be considered a fumble. They can always review it. And there's Vanderish. Again, that big middle linebacker all in space against the quickest Oregon uh, run win today. They've got to be able to be patient and run the ball. And try Look to that. run it with Tony Brooks James. I mean, blue is just swarming everywhere. Van Der Esch was first, had plenty of help along the way. Coordinator for Boise State. Had a spectacular first half. Herbert, there is another big hit on the quarterback. Nobody open. Pressure coming. Leighton Van Der Esch again. Chow, he's able to get in and go over top of the back who steps up. The back does a nice job of stepping up right there. Submarines him. But instead of him just accepting that and using his hands, look at the athletic ability. Up and over him. And then comes up with a sack. You create openings in the running game. Backfield, down, hit for a loss, Vanderish again, and that's just that's like the, the first drive of the game. Absolutely, that's the theory. That's the theory is you're able to run the football, and when, you, when, you, when you're not able to control the line of scrimmage and you're letting the linebacker, who's a great player, Vanderish, get into that back. Long from their own 11. Leg line winding down again, give it to Penny, slipping out of the first tackle, Rashad Penny. On third and long, put it in the hands of Rashad Penny. Leighton Vander Esch stands him up in San Diego State. will have to. <laughs> Chapman hands off to Penny. Yeah, 18. The former Charger. <laughs> right? Old habits. Old habits. Guys. Well, they're having success for sure. And that handoff on the left side. And Tony in the house tonight, too, Jenny. Yes, he is. And guys, before every game, Pierce actually gets. State. An incredible performance. In the first half thus far for the Broncos. It's Washington who takes the handoff. Washington is driven back again. Here comes a flag. Second and eight. Penny on the right side. Penny wrestled down another tackle for loss. The 11th of the game. Leighton Vander Esch. Gets so fourth and a yard, McCorley's going to get it again. He has the first down and more. He is tough to bring down to the 40-yard line. And the ball came out. I didn't hear a whistle. The open field tackle, that looks like a fumble. This last weekend, what do you think? Ah, yeah, the ball's moving. I think it's coming out. Yeah, that's the best defender for Boise State. The previous that's... play is under further review. Different look. Out of the backfield, they're going to pitch it back to Gerhardt, who will be hit as he throws the balls up in the air, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by Leighton Vander Esch. Actually, just the inexperience is going to show.
I mean, there is just no way a third stringer who's just not gotten much of this work, if any at all, is going to make all the right decisions in the most critical moments. Perez with the blast, and who else? Van Der Esch. Been Scott had room out in front, but Moa with great effort. McMarion picked off! Intercepted! And guess who? The Mountain West Defensive Player of the Year seals yeah, game clinching interception. Van Der Esch is going to drop in zone coverage, and he's going to read the quarterback's eyes. Gets to his point, get him read the quarterback's eyes. Steps in front of the pass, makes an outstanding play. Which could have been a pick six, was dropped. Stevens, that one is almost intercepted. You just called it, Rich. Offense, you've got to get back to running the football here in the second half. Get Dalen Dawkins back in this football game. You said that you were going to be quickly to the line. Body again. And body falls loose, falls loose. Boise State thinks they have it. And they do. And they do. And a defensive play ends what was an offensive smorgasbord of a night. There's the hit and the recovery.